to getting like more short of breath. Yeah, more short of breath, more often. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Is it swelling more? Uh, How's the swelling going? I can't. Uh, yeah. He doesn't eat very much because he said he's always bloated. Always bloated. I can't tell the belt. This is getting more distended. Yeah. Well, where does that uh, come up? It's just water build. It's retention here. Yeah. Holding water. This is all from. This this is really super. We gave him the amiodarone, yeah, because his he was getting all these extra heartbeats, the yeah. PVCs, and then he got more atrial fibrillation, and now he's having atrial fib a, a third of the time now, which is a lot more, yeah, despite the amiodarone. So, and his heart function, you know, isn't normal. So this is all congestive heart failure. Yeah. Um, yeah. What about like he said for what was it about a week ago? He was getting. Uh, three or four of those big shocks from the defibrillator. Well, you know, I would say it like that. Uh, I kind of just uh, sleep. You know, uh, I didn't, my leg was like a shock. That's a defibrillator. In your leg or up here? No, the leg. Well, probably shock, just. Shock, no, no, no. Shock is, is like a mule kick in the yeah, chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would know it if you were getting shocked. Yeah. That's that's a that's something else. Maybe yeah. just the nerves or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because I hope not right now. No, getting a ICD shock is not subtle at all. Uh, no. In terms of no, it's like someone punches it's like someone punches you in the chest really hard. Don't do that. No no no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> no demonstration. Um so we need to give him more diuretic is what we he needs. Okay. We need to get money. We need to get Is that for the help the water go yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that wouldn't can't. make him sleep more, would it? That water. Well, this the fatigue. So being sleepy is is due to a combination of a lot of things. Right? Is there anything we can do? Because I try to get him up, and then he'll just go boom right out again. And I, even with the oxygen on him, it's just. If we get more, if we get more water off him, he may be easier for him to do that. Okay. okay. But we also there's a chance that that the amiodarone may be affecting his thyroid function oh yeah that could be true. which it, which has been reported so we need to do a blood test to check his thyroid function okay i don't know if we need to talk to dr wright too because like maybe he needs to bump up his oxygen because it's set at number two is that it too now? Yeah, but I don't know if he needs to do. He sees Rob Wright, Robert, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll send him a note. Okay. But but I'm gonna increase his Lasix from twenty a day to forty a day in the morning. Okay. Um, that's just once in the morning. It's right? just once in the morning. But I want to check a blood test today on his thyroid. Okay. And I also want to check. I'll I'll get a kidney assessment too because the kid his kidneys aren't normal. Right. Exactly. So we need to check that today. Okay. And then after bumping up the the Lasix, we have to check it again in two weeks. Okay. So we need two blood tests, and after you know, and I'll, I'll increase his thyroid. His, his, uh, okay. Yeah, that could be the thyroid and make you sleep. thyroid can make him really sleepy. sleepy. Yeah. So yeah. he may need thyroid medicine, but lean forward for me a little bit, friend. Okay. Take a deep breath in and out. Yeah, there's some fluid in there. Okay, breathe normal. Just normally, Dad. Just relax. Yeah, don't take a deep breath in and out. a lot of extra beats in there which is good but okay so let's do this let's uh i noticed too like he tries to tie his shoe and yeah. then after he's done he's like yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. out of breath he yeah. can't even function yeah okay we'll do this how old are your kids now 
They're uh, eight and ten now. Really? Yeah. Wow. They're getting old. <laughs> They're growing fast. The older one really is getting tall and it's crazy. You, you got a save on in carp? Yes. Okay. On so we're taking him from 20 a day to 40 a day. Okay. So the 20s he has at home, he can just take two at the same time. Okay. This is the LASIK? The LASIK, yeah. Okay. Double the LASIK. We're doubling the LASIK, so, so twice as much. Um. I'll write it down to print out. When, oh, when you, yeah, 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 and then, uh, and then we'll get this, and this, and that, and the hormone check, all right, and then, and then. is that normal, like water in his lungs, or chest? Well, so it's, it's around the heart. It's not around the heart because it, it's it's actually he's got this combination of. So what happened was is his heart muscle used to be on the weaker side. It got stronger, right. and he started getting all these extra beats, these PVCs uh, and the atrial fib. So extra beats for the bottom chamber and the top chamber, and all these extra beats started making the heart muscle get weaker, and so that's when he started getting more and more shorter breath. So then we give the amiodarone because amiodarone helps decrease the extra beats from here and from here. I got it. And it actually is working pretty good on these down here. And it was working good on these up here, although this is happening a little bit more now. Uh. So that's why it gets tricky. But the amiodarone is the best drug we have to decrease extra beats. I got it. So if we don't have, if we don't, if the drug doesn't, is causing problems or, you know, that's what the blood test will help show. You know, there's other things that can be done for the extra beats, but that it gets more invasive. It gets yeah. catheters in the heart no. and try to do ablations and things no. like that. Let's just keep it simple. Yeah, we're trying to keep it as simple as we can. Because you're gonna be 90 in a few months. You know? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's it, as you start doing procedures as we get older, it gets more complicated yeah. and more problems. Especially and with like heart condition. Like exactly. That. Yeah, I understand now. So it, it it's 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 complicated. It's tricky. Yeah. Yeah. Are you kids going to school? They're in school. Is that normal? Zoom. They 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 do yeah they they so they go to a, a little public school called Vieja Valley. Oh. And they and right now they actually. They they, they do a hybrid, so they're doing some. A couple of days in school they, and some at home. They do like a two and a half hours in the classroom, you know, in small groups and for like. From like twelve thirty to three, like four days a week, and oh. you know, in the afternoon they're home doing computer stuff in the mornings. It's kind of like a, <laughs> so they try to keep the class sizes. Usually the classes are pretty big, you know, and so they're trying to keep the class sizes small. So only got half the kids coming at a time, and it's it's a, it's better than nothing, you know. It, it's, it's 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 kind of hard, but it's good. Yeah. Okay, so what we would do? Okay, uh, I'm gonna write this down for you. Okay, good. So blood test, none of these have to be fasted. So blood test today and again in two weeks. Okay. One today you can get on the way out. So after you check out up here, just take the elevator to the basement and that's where the lab is straight ahead when you come off the elevator. Just go ahead and yeah, get it there. Yeah, get that today, yeah. Okay, and then two weeks. Two again. weeks you can get it down there, yeah, yeah. Um, so so to, and then increase furosemide. Forty milligrams a day. It's furosemide, the LASIK. LASIK, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll write that down too. I had a, another question. The vaccine that's coming out, is it safe for him to take that? It will be. Um, everything we know right now, and we have, is that it's not causing any kind of worsening heart failure or, or things like that. Okay, you good. Know, it, it's in fact his demographic it's probably the benefit because if he gets COVID it's going to be a disaster yeah that's what I'm right? saying he probably wouldn't talk, he probably wouldn't survive it no. so that's why we're saying we, everything we everything in, in medicine we, we that exists it's always risk benefit right so it's like what's the benefit versus the risk <laughs> and there, there may be tiny risk with the vaccine but the benefit for him is so big yeah, so he, yeah. we should get it for him as soon as we can I think they said they were going to give half and then give another half later. 
Yeah, both the ones that are out, the Pfizer one and the Moderna one, both in the way they studied the drug and all the clinical trials and stuff that they showed the efficacy, yeah. they were both two-dose vaccines. So Pfizer, you get it, and then you have to get another dose about three weeks after. Moderna is about four weeks after. Oh, okay. So there's two doses, but they're making sure before you get the first one that they're going to have enough for the second one. Yeah. <laughs> but, they're, but if you watch the news now, they're saying, well, maybe it's better to give just one dose to people so we have more to give everybody but then we don't know how effect efficacy is going to yeah, be you know what i'm saying so it's kind of tricky that's another yeah. tricky one yeah okay so so this is what the instructions are going to say that they print out okay it's a blood test today and again in two weeks right. okay increase the furosemide of the lasix to 40 milligrams a day from 20 milligrams a day but it's okay to take two of the 20 milligram tablets till right. they're gone Okay. okay, but the new prescription I sent is a 40. Okay, So good. it'll be just one, okay? And then, and then... In, Two weeks, get another book. Yes. And then three weeks, I'm going to touch base with him just by telephone to see how he's doing. Okay. Look, and look at the blood work, okay? Okay. Is your wife working? Yeah, she's still working okay. too. Yeah, it's harder... I, I'm trying to do some telemedicine stuff more, keep people at home right now because it's kind of it, you know it's good to kind of examine too. Right. But now that we do this and, and I kind of know better what's going on, I'll do the next one on, on tele on okay. telephone uh -huh. just to keep you home safer. Yeah, you know harder for my wife because she looks in eyes and so she can't she can't do that over the phone yeah, or that's on true. video. You know, so it's just kind of tricky. Okay. But she's working, huh? She's working still five days a week, yeah. It's busy time. See, I, 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 I met her by doing the doing my eyes. That's yeah, amazing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, my friend, nice to see you. Hang in there, okay? It's always good to see right. you, bud. <laughs> I know, I'm already talking with it, too. Thank, Thank you for coming you. in today. Thank you. Okay, check out the girls up front. They'll print that out for you. All right, okay. appreciate it. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.